Hey guys, I'm at the Lepakshi Temple in India and I'm going to show you not just the mystery of the hanging pillar but also show you exactly how it works. In this temple you can see many people doing the same thing. Put a piece of cloth underneath and slide it around the other side proving that the pillar is disconnected from the floor. This is considered one of the wonders of India. How did ancient people construct a huge pillar that defies gravity and is hanging in midair? These kind of mysteries always interest me, so I decided to visit the temple. Right from the start, I'm fascinated by the carvings in the temple, like this cow, for example, which shows multiple postures in the same sculpture. But that's another video, so I end up at this hanging pillar which attracts thousands of tourists every day. As you can see, this is a huge block of granite around 20 feet tall with brilliant carvings. Now, I just have to prove it to you that this pillar is disconnected from the floor. So I ask this elderly couple who have come with a towel. Watch how they slide the towel on one side and it goes all the way on the other side. This shows that ancient technology employed anti-gravity and levitation because there is no way a 20-foot granite block which weighs many tons can hang in mid-air. So how does it actually work and attract thousands of visitors every day? It works because nobody is showing you the rest of the footage. We have dozens of videos of this hanging pillar on YouTube, but nobody shows you what happens next. Here's what happens. You can slide a piece of cloth through one end, but you cannot pull it out on the other end. If the pillar is completely disconnected from the floor, we should be able to pull the cloth on the other side. However, the cloth I slide is going to get stuck in one of the corners. The pillar is not really hanging in mid-air because one of the corners is clearly resting on the floor, which is how it still stands. If you examine this pillar closely, you can visually confirm this. The pillar does not employ anti-gravity or levitation. So, did the ancient people create an imperfect pillar? Well, it turns out that the British government decided to do some repairs during pre-independence era and attempted to remove the pillar. But they couldn't because it was fixed so perfectly they could only dislodge it. They realized that removing this pillar is impossible, so they left it in this weird position. That's the true story behind this dislodged pillar. However, there is a bigger mystery in this temple that needs to be decoded. Did giants leave a footprint in this temple? I hope you liked this video. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.